Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally the things I'm your good friend Bradley, and today is a pleasant Sunday smoke, and I gotcha. I made you click on this title, didn't I? I'm sorry, I don't do that very often, the whole clickbaity thing, but I, I thought it would be fun to experiment to see if maybe I get more clicks by doing a title like that, and it actually does mean something, the I'm going away, I'm not actually going away, the channel isn't going away, but I am going away for the weekend, not this weekend, because this is this weekend as I'm recording this, but the weekend after. And we're gonna get into that, what it means for the channel, what it means for the videos that you're going to be seeing on this channel and on Stuff and Things Plays. Basically, I have been recording so many frickin' videos this weekend, trying to bank up enough that I will have plenty to post for this coming week and then the week after, because I always record almost every video during the weekend because I just don't usually have very much time at all during the week. Um, I've got a full-time job that's very strenuous and then, you know, social obligations, relationships, all that thing, all those things. I try to do gameplay videos at night sometimes and sometimes that works, but basically this weekend, yesterday I recorded six gameplay videos and edited and uploaded six gameplay videos for Stuff and Things Plays. Today I'm trying to get, I think, two more gameplay videos done and then uh, videos for Stuff and Things to post throughout the coming weeks. So here's what we're gonna have. I wanna explain everything to you. I just recorded my review of Savinelli Essenza Cipriota. Is that right? Somebody who was Italian told me that I was pronouncing it incorrectly. I was saying Cipriota, which I should have known. Yeah, if, it, if there's a C at the beginning of a word in Italian, it's Cipriota, Cipriota, something like that. Just recorded this review. I've been smoking this throughout a week. You saw my first impressions where I was like, eh, maybe, maybe it's not bad, even though it has a topping. Check out the actual review. This will post this coming Wednesday um, to find my final verdict or to find out my final verdict on this blend. It's moderated a little bit, or not even moderated, it is degraded a little bit from my initial impressions, but maybe that doesn't surprise you very much. Um, I'm going to be recording another video after I finish this Sunday smoke, but I'm gonna get into that uh, a little bit later because somebody actually sent me a nice little package from Ireland and that has something to do with the next blend I'll be doing a first impressions video on. I have been recording like a madman doing gameplay videos. So this week you're gonna have two Red Dead Redemption 2 videos and two Sekiro Shadows Die Twice videos on Stuff and Things Plays. The very last in the main story took place, or actually I guess it's already posted by the time you're watching this, it posted at two o'clock today on Sunday. That's the end of Arthur's story in Red Dead Redemption 2. And now we're doing the epilogue. And as the epilogue progresses, I'm going to be doing two Red Dead, two Sekido until the epilogue is over. And then we're gonna be doing all Sekido. So let's get this right. For Stuff and Things Plays, you had the last main story Red Dead Redemption 2 video post today. Tomorrow, there will be a Sekiro video. On Wednesday, Red Dead. Friday, Sekiro. Sunday, Red Dead. And then next week, the same schedule. So that's all gonna be the same. We're keeping that up. I'm banking enough videos that I can keep that going. This week, as I mentioned, you'll have the review of Savinelli uh, Essenza Cipriota. That will post Wednesday, the normal day that I post videos for this channel. Next Sunday, though, here's where it gets a little bad. Here's where you might be disappointed. I'm not going to have a Sunday smoke because I'm going away on Friday morning and we're going to be gone all weekend. I'm doing a little getaway with my girlfriend. We're going down the Oregon coast and I just don't have time. And because Sunday smoke is so dependent on your questions, I have the questions that you sent me for this week. We'll be getting into these in the Ask Stuff and Things part of the show, but I'm not going to be able to record anything with questions for next week, for next Sunday. But what I am going to do is post a video of a first impressions on Wednesday. So basically all you're going to miss out on is the Sunday smoke. And I know a lot of you, that's the only video you watch every week. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm trying really hard to get as many videos done as I can. So there's not a huge interruption in service. But what I would love is if you guys submit your questions to Twitter with the hashtag AskStuffAndThings, at SAT Bradley, and then also through Patreon. My Patreon supporters can ask questions as well. And we'll bank all those through next week. 
And then the week after we'll have a nice big block of questions and maybe a longer Sunday smoke. And then while I'm gone, I might try to take some video, um, some sort of vloggy stuff that maybe we'll post up as well as just a little break from just so much tobacco content all the time. A little fun trip down the Oregon coast. We'll be hitting probably Cannon Beach, maybe a couple other places down there. So uh, it promises to be a beautiful little weekend getaway. I think it's supposed to rain the whole time, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's beautiful this weekend though. So that's what's going on on the channel. I hope you guys aren't too disappointed by the fact that there won't be a Sunday smoke next week. But like I said, I'm gonna have every other video that I would normally have at the normal times on both channels coming up throughout the week. Now I mentioned that there was a nice little package that I got and I would just like to read this little note. This is from Andrew Stothard, Stothard, Stothard. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, he says, hello, Bradley. I really enjoy watching your videos. And after the recent aromatic reviews, I thought I'd send you something that should hopefully be more to your liking. Sheraton are making a range of Dunhill blend copies. We've heard of this. People have mentioned this. They've asked me to review these blends, but they're not available in the US. And Victorian mixture, back to the letter, is their copy of Elizabethan. And I stuck in a pouch of Germain's Perique mixture, which is right here. You can see these lovely pictures of a child being given some sort of respirator or something because somebody was had the audacity to smoke a pipe near him. Um, the label is right there at the very bottom. Germain's Jersey, or Royal Jersey Perique. So I'm looking forward to trying that, but especially the Victorian mixture. We did the review of Majesty Elizabeth, um, which was supposed to be K&K's sort of match for Elizabethan. I guess somebody said that was out the market for a while in the in the EU. They had to change the name because it was too close to Elizabethan mixture. I'm not exactly sure where that is right now, but this is Sheraton's version of that. Some people are claiming that they have the actual recipes. I don't know if that's actually the case. I'm going to do more research when I actually do the review, but this will be the first impressions video. So next, this coming week, Wednesday will be Ascenza Cipriota. The week after, we'll have a first impressions video of Sheraton's Victorian mixture. And I'm quite looking forward to trying this out to seeing how closely it matches my beloved Elizabethan. Back to the letter. Uh, I stuck in a pouch of Germain's Perique mixture. It's easy to get in the UK, and so I can get that sent to Ireland easily. Sorry about the stupid tobacco warning messages and pictures. That's just something you have to put up with over here. And we have to put up with it now too. Maybe not quite as extensive. I actually colored out the ridiculous warning on the front of this. Uh, thanks for making all the videos. Andrew Stothard? Stothard? Stothard maybe. Thank you very much, Andrew. That was very, very lovely of you to send. Uh, he sent that to my PO box, which you can find the address for which you can find the address for in the about section of my YouTube page. Um, so that's nice. That's very cool that I have a chance to review and do a first impressions video and everything of this. I've wanted to get my hands on this. Like I said, not available in the US. So look forward to that. Um, and then, I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff going on. I have no time for anything ever, but I'm trying my best to keep up with everything with the channels. I really appreciate everybody writing in, sending questions to hashtag things on Twitter, sending questions through Patreon. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporters. That is so amazing. We had a new $25 supporter. We'll be reading out his name at the end of the show today. Um, and then as far as like the content I mentioned, you have to watch. If you've been following the Red Dead Redemption 2 series on Stuff and Things Plays, the the climax to Arthur's story in that game is amazing. And I have to say, it's probably the best story I've ever seen in a video game to date. And I think Arthur Morgan, the protagonist, is the best character I have ever seen realized in a video game to date. It's really quite amazing. Um, and then Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, is really hard. And I'm having a lot of trouble with it. And so you may find some entertainment value in that. Coming from the Dark Souls games, you have a certain way of playing and a certain way of thinking about it. And this is the same, uh, the same developer from Software who did this game. And so you go in it and it has some of the trappings of the Dark Souls series. So it makes you think maybe that it's the same kind of game, but the mechanics are very different. And it's a whole different way of thinking of how to play the game. 
and I am slowly, slowly getting it, but there's one little mini boss that I think is in the, maybe it's the fourth episode, I can't remember exactly, that I had a lot of trouble with. Um, but I'm slowly but surely sort of figuring that out. So I think that's definitely worth watching. It's just a really beautifully realized game world as well. Um, so definitely check that out. And then as I mentioned, we're going on our little trip this weekend, or this coming weekend, down to the Oregon coast. And uh, if you guys have any cool places like restaurants in Cannon Beach, uh, Seaside, maybe even like uh, Astoria, places like that down in Oregon, places that you just have to check out on the Oregon coast, let me know. I'd love to read those in the comments. We're still sort of planning our itinerary. And then like I said, maybe I'll take some video while I'm down there, something kind of vloggy. But gang, it's already been over 11 minutes of me just blathering on about business things coming up on the channel. Let's get to your questions because that is part, prob probably the most important part of the show. Uh, here we go. We got some questions or one question from Patreon. Remember, if you are a Patreon subscriber, you get first preference in question answers. So you can write to me, just send me a direct message on Patreon and I will answer your question on Sunday Smoke. And if you would like to ask a question and you are not on Patreon, you can tweet at SAT Bradley with the hashtag ask stuff and things. And I will do my best to answer your question on the show. I'm not smoking this right now. Uh, I probably should be. It, it takes so many relights, it goes out constantly. Smoking it angry, come on. It won't catch. I'm gonna have to make my pipe way too hot. Okay, so first question via Patreon from Corbin Bordner. He says in a low, sultry voice, it may be too personal. I get it. Although if it progresses favorably, do you ever plan on making your significant other a co-host or walk-on from time to time? Thought it'd be fun or a good mixer to the Sunday smokes. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, thank you, Corbin, for being a Patreon supporter. Um, maybe. I've mentioned that, you know, I may do some video when we're on our little trip. We'll see if she makes an appearance or not. I, I would tend to not want to do that, if only because whenever a female has appeared on any of my videos, there are always weird comments that follow, which is fine. And I know it's not most of you guys. Most of you guys are completely respectful and cool, but there's always gonna be some weirdo on the internet. Um, like I, I had somebody commenting on somebody's nipples when I posted a video before, like, eh, I just don't know if I wanna, wanna get into that or not. And I know how, I guess, titillated a lot of people are by like, ooh, a girlfriend, let's see the girlfriend. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm leaning towards avoiding that for the time being, but we'll see if that changes. And it's up to her, really. Um, now we go to Twitter, where we have our first question from Zach at Great White Bart. He says, <clears throat> Quite enjoying your agony in Sekiro. The game, uh, that game is punishing and rewarding all at the same time. On another note, what does your fitness regimen consist of? Uh, I think regimen is what you're looking for there. I'm sorry. Sorry, Zach, but I had to correct you. Do you learn more to, do you lean more towards, and then I just made a mistake when reading because I don't know how to read. I have the reading comprehension of a fifth grader. Towards cardio or weight or a mixture of both perhaps. Do you prefer an AM or PM workout? Well, Zach, um, thank you very much for watching the show and for checking out Sekiro. There's more to come, more agony to come. Uh, I lean more towards like body weight. I do some stuff with dumbbells, medicine ball, and stuff like that, but it's mostly like body weight stuff, lots of push-ups, pull-ups. Um, I do a lot of core stuff, crunches, things like that. I don't do much cardio, though I'm maybe gonna start running a little bit, uh, even though I hate running with a passion, but it might be a fun activity to do with my girlfriend. Um, and I usually do PM workouts because it's after work. I come home from work and usually do a workout four to five times a day. And then my job itself is very physically strenuous. So I get a lot of exercise, very active throughout the week. All right, next question is from Unigami, at Unigami. He says, or she, I'm not sure. What is the difference between a topping and a casing? Well, we've actually discussed that quite a bit recently because we've had 
blends with toppings on them. Um, the way I define it, and maybe this isn't the way everyone else defines it, but I would consider a casing something that pretty much every blend has. So there will be things with humectants, things to prevent um, mold growing, and then there's usually a little bit of something in there. Maybe a little sweetness, maybe a little flavor to just even out as year by year they produce the same blend they want the blend to taste the same and you're not always getting the same tobaccos from the same places and so you try to even that out a little bit with the casing um and maybe this is sort of splitting hairs but i consider a topping something that is to not enhance the natural flavors of the tobacco or even out the natural flavors but to change the flavor to add a different flavor into the blend and so a topping would be something like a vanilla extract or an alcoholic topping or a fruity topping or something like that that's the way i define it anyway next we have a question from ismail m taher he says can you review big and burly by c and d it's my favorite blend so far thanks Ismail, I think that is on my list, so I think I will get to it eventually. We have quite a few other ones in the queue, but we'll try to get to that at some point. Next, we have Jeff Woodruff, at Woodruff underscore Jeff. He says, Bradley, how the holy hell do you get tobacco into Washington State? Uh, Jeff, it's illegal to have tobacco shipped to you in Washington according to state law. So I, of course, never do that ever in my life. But if you check online, you will find that some retailers will flout the law. They will circumvent the law and they will send to you because it's actually it seems like an illegal law because it's sort of limiting interstate commerce and you send things through the Postal Service and that's a federal bureau and the state has no say over what you get in the mail. So, you know, you'll figure it out. Next, we have a question from Tyler at Tyler Brew Brew. He says, <clears throat> I know that you said you would probably bring some form of acting element to the channel in your Patreon video. How would you present this to the channel? That's a good question, Tyler. Um, and it's something I've thought about a lot. It's also something that's really dependent on time, which is something that I have in very short supply at the moment. But as the channel grows and as hopefully it becomes more financially viable, which great patrons. I, I'm not sure if you're a patron or not. You must be because you were on the Patreon thing, maybe. Uh, with extra, with more support and more financial viability, I will hopefully be able to devote more time and I would like to do some more creative things. Just things that are kind of funny, um, maybe sketch comedy sorts of things thrown in there and maybe just more slice of life things. Um, I've done a few weird little videos where there's kind of a vignette or something that I'm acting out, but I would like to try to do more of that in the future. Next, we have Steve Martin at Samus2012. He says, <clears throat> I just purchased a fountain pen and was wondering what kind of ink lines you prefer and what to look for in a good ink. Thanks, Steve. Um, I really like Pilot Iro Shizuku a lot. That's probably my favorite fountain pen ink line. My favorite ink of all time for just general purpose is probably Sukio from Iro Shizuku. It's like a midnight blue. It's gorgeous. I love it. I also like the Daimine inks a lot. Um, and I'm trying to think of other ones. I have a couple Mont Blanc inks as well. But I think you can't go wrong with diamine, diamine. I looked this up before. The actual manufacturer of the inks said that it should be diamine, I think. I think that's how they pronounce it. Um, and then the Pilot inks are great. And the Pilot inks are kind of expensive, but I've had the same bottle of Sukio for years, and I use it a lot. It lasts a very long time, so check it out. All right, next we have Haim at Haim, 85857538, New Yorker accent. Hey, yo, would you consider accepting a gift of some tobaccos from the East? I bought a couple of Balkan blends and a few flakes from Leave It and Pierce, Cambridge, and I didn't smoke all that much. Might be cool to review some local blends. Um, as I mentioned, I do have a P.O. box, so if you want to send something, you can look on the About Me section or the About section of my YouTube channel on the desktop YouTube app. And there is a, an address there. I don't encourage people to send things because I still feel weird about people sending me things. But if you want to, that's where you would send it. And now, I think last, 
Adam at Decim Ad Unum, which is Latin, I'm assuming, uh, and I pronounced that horribly. He says, do you have any educational videos? Also, do you plan on doing less scheduled videos with some more variation, more cigars? Um, I guess you could say that I have a series of educational videos, the uh, guide to pipe smoking playlist on stuff and things. I haven't updated those in a very long time, and I did most of them when the channel was very young, so I may eventually want to go back and change some of those. There's things that, there are things that maybe I've rethought, things that with more experience and more time, I may, uh, I may disagree with myself now, um, and the production value is kind of eh back then, but I definitely have that series. And then, as I mentioned, more variation. I'd love to. I'd love to try to do some more creative things. I do have this sort of dichotomy where if some people ask for more creative things and different kinds of videos, but then when I post different kinds of videos, a lot of people get annoyed because they only want to see a certain type of video. So we'll, we'll sort of walk that tightrope and see what happens in the future. But I would definitely like to do some different things. It gets a little stale, you know, doing tobacco reviews all the time. Might want to mix it up. But gang, now it's time for the best part of every Sunday smoke. That's the time when we thank our Patreon supporters, those who have given $25 and up on Patreon. And I would like to start with Glenn. He is a $25 Patreon supporter. Thank you so much, Glenn. We also have Kevin Moore. Thanks, Kevin, for being a $25 supporter. We have Derek, just Derek. Thanks, Derek, very much. We have Cody Striegler. Cody is a $25 supporter on Patreon. Thank you, Cody. We also have Nathaniel Hills. Thank you very much, Mr. Hills. We have Kirk Crompton, attorney at law. Thank you very much, Kirk Crompton, for being a $25 supporter. We have C.W. Piperman. C.W., thank you so much. And I remember you telling me that you liked Piperman and not Piperman. So hopefully that's correct. I'm remembering that correctly. Thank you very much, C.W. And then finally, our newest $25 and up Patreon supporter, Garrett. Thank you very much, Garrett. But now, it's time for the Maniac tier. Those who give $100 a month, every month, on Patreon. These people are crazy. Peter Straub. Peter, we had a wonderful conversation last weekend. Uh, that's part of the perks, part one of the perks of being a $100 subscriber. Call it a perk, you get to talk to me on Skype or on FaceTime or whatever. Um, I guess I'm personable. Hopefully Peter had a good conversation with me because I had a good conversation with him. And then Bob McGee. Thank you so much, Bob. You're a madman and we love you here on Stuff and Things. But gang, I think that's the end of the show for this week. Remember, unfortunately, things being as they are, I'm not going to be able to get a Sunday Smoke next week, but send in your questions and we will do a nice big block of questions for the next Sunday Smoke. I will be out of town traveling down the Oregon coast. Um, maybe, hopefully, I'll take some video of some of the activities that we do down there. Please tune in for the review of Ascensa Kipriota, which will be this Wednesday. Please, next Wednesday, no, this coming Wednesday is Ascensa Cipriota, Kipriota. The Wednesday after will be the first impressions video of Sheraton Victorian Mixture. The Red Dead Redemption 2 series continues into the epilogue and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice as well on Stuff and Things Plays. But gang, until next time, until we meet again, I've been a good friend Bradley, you've been the audience, this has been Stuff and Things on a Pleasant Sunday Smoke, and I will see you, you know, I'll see you in other videos, but as, as far as Sunday Smoke goes, I'll see you in two weeks' time, and I'm gonna be having a great time down on the Oregon coast. I hope you guys have a great time as well. Bye. Senza Kipriota?